I have a word, and this is a January word. Uh huh. We ready? The Bible says you teach line upon, line. precept upon. So there are things that should come before other things. Uh-huh. And these are the January messages. Amen? Amen. Galatians, Amma Galatia, Galatia, chapter number 6, verse number 7. Galatians 6, 7. The Bible says, Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever a man sows, that he will also reap. Usidanganyike, Mungu mm-hmm. 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 Okay. Nangoja mocked mtu aseme mocked kwa Kiswahili. Mungu hadi hakiwi. Ah. Chochote binadamu anapanda. Uh-huh. Hicho hicho ndicho atakacho vuna. Shake your neighbor, tell your neighbor concentrate, 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 concentrate. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I think this is one of the most powerful verses in the Bible. Mm. Because this is a reality check oh, yeah. kind of a verse. Mm-hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Unambiwa, don't be deceived. Don't be fooled. Mm. Because in January, you can be fooled. Oh, yes. That you shall get something in December. Mm. You shall not get uh-huh. what you have not sown. Oh. I wish I was getting a bit of feedback. Mm. Mungu Hadi hakiwi. God is not mocked. Oh, yes. If you get what has not been sown, God has been mocked. Oh. And God is not mocked. Oh. Amen. Mm. Don't be deceived. Mm-hmm. I say don't be deceived. Don't be deceived. Tuliambiwa, this is our ear of fruitfulness. Mm-hmm. Matunda inatoka kwa mbeku. Mm. Fruits come originally from a seed. You will not be fruitful if you are not planting or sowing anything in your life. Am I talking to two people? Oh, yes. Are you here or are you gone? We are here. You harvest what you plant. Mm-hmm. Your input determines your output. Am I talking to two people? Yes. Are you here? I'm here. Tell me about your input. Your input determines, determines your output. Your output. Your seed, seed determines, determines your fruit. Your fruit. Are we together? Oh, yes. So, for example, in verse 8, and I an example in verse 8, and I say, whoever sows into the flesh, ukipanda mbegu kwa your flesh, you will reap corruption. Ukipanda to the spirit, uh-huh. una reap everlasting life. Amen. So, like, ukipanda to the flesh, mm-hmm. when you feed the flesh, mm-hmm. sin. Uki watch pornography. Mm. Uki kwa mtu a gossip. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Because the flesh, mm-hmm. it is two people on this side that I'm oh. talking about. Bible in Asema, you will reap corruption. I'm going somewhere. Ukipanda uh-huh. to the spirit, you will reap life. Ukisoma Bible, uki pray, uki skiza word, there is a reaping that is coming. Don't be fooled. How is it panda avocado? Na ushangae ukipata avocado. You cannot plant avocados mm-hmm. and come to see me in the office mm-hmm. to pray for oranges to manifest. Oh. Because that is what some of you are doing. Mm-hmm. Your prayer points and your sowing are not aligning. Oh. Ah, you missed what I said. Zile maombi unaomba. Zile vitu unasema pasta niombe hapa. Uh-huh. Na kile unapanda mm. hazifanani. Come on. Mm-hmm. You cannot be flirting around. Mm-hmm. You have two girlfriends and three side chicks. Oh. Two and three. Two are main. Main, main two. Hey. Main is two. two. And three side. Sides. And then mm. unakuwa shocked mm. when your relationships don't work. Oh. How? No, listen. How? God is not training you. Uh-uh. You planted the wrong seeds. Oh. Uh, at maybe Mungu anatumia hiyo heartbreak kuni train. Hapana. Wewe uli pl- plant the wrong outcome always inaangaliwa na input. input. Kuna kitu uliweka mm. enyi nakupatia kenye unavuna. Sure. 
I'm, I'm telling you the truth. Oh, yes. You cannot be a gossiper, mm. a slanderer, mm -hmm. and then una reap no friends. Hey. People don't like you. Uh -huh. Now, Unasema is the spirit of rejection. Hey. Say, I'm there's no rejection. There's no rejection. You are not a good friend. You are just, you, you, you plant the wrong thing. Stop, uki, uki, kama umepanda avocado, mnanisikiza, eh? Na uone haujapata oranges. It is no spirit of rejection. Oranges are not rejecting you. Oh, yes. You planted the wrong seed. Am I talking to two people? Yes. Kama ni wewe unachelewa kazi, report zako zinachelewa, you are underperforming, yes. you are even boring, on top of also, you are boring, boring at work. If the boss does not promote you, uh -huh. it is not favoritism. No. It is what you have been sowing uh -huh. over time. Oh, yes. Am I talking to two people? Yes, Pastor. And we have a crop of some foolish religious people mm -hmm. who pray for the wrong seeds uh. to manifest the right fruit. Mm. It will not happen. It will not happen. It will not happen. Not I said it will not happen. It won't. The Bible says it is fit for a man to bear the yoke in his youth. Youth. Your youthful ears are what we call your morning ears. Oh. Maisha yako ya a youth ndio maisha yako ya asubuhi. Mm -hmm. Na Biblia inasema sow seeds in the morning. Uh, can, can I talk man? Talk, talk. Or should I continue singing? Mm. Talk. You are, you are waiting to be highly disappointed mm. if you are a young person that oversleeps. Oh. I am telling you the truth. Oh. There is no success waiting for you. Eish. There is no million waiting for you. Ouch. There is no impact waiting for you. I'm talking to two people on this side, hey. and I'm feeling one is here. Hey, hey. If you are a young person, that is, if you are not sowing mm -hmm. in your morning, mm. there will be nothing to reap in your evening. Oh. Am I talking to two people? Oh yes. You don't pray for an avocado. Mm -mm. No, you sow. An avocado. See. Don't pray for what you have not sown. Mm -hmm. We cannot lay hands on you and you become financially prosperous. It will not happen. Mm -mm. Tell us. Although Isaac was blessed, the Bible mm -hmm. says in Genesis 26, 12, Isaac sowed mm -hmm. in that land and he reaped. Rips. Although he was blessed, he did what? He sowed. I said, although he was blessed, he did what? He did something. He did what? So. Aijalishi Isaac and Abeba baraka kiasigani. There is no reaping without sowing. Sure. This is an important message for you in January. Very true. Very true. If you are not intentional about what you are sowing, you will be shocked at how disappointing the end of the year will be. There is no prophecy that will make this year good for you if you don't do your part of sowing the right seed. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Oh, yes, Pastor. Turn to your neighbor that is a bit shocked. Tell them, Anaonge ukweli, anaonge ukweli. Anaonge ukweli. Anaonge ukweli. Ukweli. Genesis 8, 22. The Bible says, as long as the earth remains. Genesis 8, 22. Seed time and harvest, cold and heat, winter and summer, day and night, shall not, See. shall not, See. shall not, See. Yani, as long as the earth remains, seed time and harvest shall not cease. Mm -hmm. There are what we call physical laws. I have taught you this before, like the law of gravity. Ukiruka ju, usishtuke kwa nini unarudi chini, ati haya. Apana, there is a law in this realm, physical law. Mm. It's also a law. It's a law. Law. It's a law. It is powerful. Powerful. It's fire. Hakuna invent ukinini in a convert. It is a business idea. It will sell in oh, Nigeria yes. and Moranga. It, oh, it yes. sell. <laughs> Listen to me. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's a physical law. Uh huh. Even if you are you pray, mm. even if you are blessed, jump, you'll come down. It's a law. It's a law. I'm going somewhere. Mm. It's a law. It's a law. I said it's a law. 
It's a law. So in the spirit, we have laws. Mm. Because the spirit realm is also a realm. It's an environment like this. Vile tu hapa kuna gravity, kuna nini. The spirit realm has laws uh-huh. that work for both believers and unbelievers. It is a, there are laws in the spirit realm. Uh-huh. One of those laws mm. is whatever you sow, that is what you reap. Mm. This, this meeting, eh, this service, eh, mm. is to break the spirit of laziness. Amen. That's it. Uh-huh. Is to break over sleeping. As it. As it. No, even if what we said was say me amen, we are breaking over sleeping. Amen. Amen. Although Isaac was blessed, uh-huh. it is what he sowed that he reaped. Mm-hmm. We cannot have people that are constantly asking for prayer and constantly lazing around in the house. Come on. Umejekea standard at uwezi hook. Mm-mm. Uwezi hook na una pesa. Mm. Aji. At it is below me. What is below you? Oh. You are already below. <laughs> Wewe mwenyewe uko chini, si ni kweli? Yeah. You don't have money. Mm. Na unasema this job is below. Oh. Come on. A seed does not have to be big. Mm-mm. A seed does not have to be big. Sure. Nasema mbegu haitaji kuwa kubwa. Ah. Haijalishi unauza nini kidogo. Haijalishi uko na biashara gani kadogo. Amazing. But if tomorrow morning you can decide to begin something small. Come on. If you will sow something. Amen. Especially under the grace at work here. Hallelujah. You shall have a great harvest this year. Amen. I said you shall have a great harvest this year. Amen. I said you shall have a great harvest this year. Amen. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Ask your neighbor what are you selling? 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 Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, pastor. Oh yes. Oh yes. So when people fail these days they blame who? They blame God. Mm. They blame the president. Ah. They blame the government. Ah. It is irresponsibility to cry when you don't harvest what you have not sown. Oh yes. The only time to nona Mungu aki complain about a harvest is in the book of Jeremiah. I believe chapter 2 verse 21. Somewhere there. God is complaining and asema, I planted the right seed. Why am I reaping a wrong harvest? Yeah, Jeremiah 20. It is there. I planted you a noble vine, a seed of highest quality. How then have you turned before me into a degenerate plant of an alien vi- an alien vine? Mungu anasema, mimi najua Kenya nimepanda. Yeah, the, you ha, you can have this boldness mm-hmm. to pray this kind of prayer oh. in December mm. if you know what you sowed that, that year. Sure. If you know how much you sweated, how much you made calls, mm. how much you invested, yes. then you can have the boldness to talk like this. Uh-huh. I planted a seed of highest quality. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What what have you sown to ask for the prayers that you're asking for? Come on. Yeah. Ni nini umeweka kwa ground? Ndiyo ukue na boldness ya kuenda before mungu na uobe scripture vile inasema. Come let us reason together. Mm-hmm. Why is this high quality seed not bringing a fruitful vine? Oh. There are prayers you should not pray. Sure. Mm. You sleep for seven hours. Oh. Eight. The doctor ako night shift, ako on call. Yes. Alali ya nakwambia lala eight hours. Uwe lala. Uwe lala. Oh, you see America, opportunity... Americans, they have three jobs. Ah. Oh, in the land of milk and honey, take me to US with your schedule. Ah. With the way you sleep. You go sleep there. Sleep. No, this service is one assignment. Oh, yes. To learn about the blessing before. Yes. Leon, I could break laziness. Uh-huh. That's Amen. it. Amen. Umeka kwa matatu. Uh-huh. Hata fair kuna si kweli? Yes. Na una despise mtu mwenye anakuhokia sweets hapo. Hapo. Na ukimshtua kidogo anaweza kulipea fair yako mpaka nyumbani ushago. Surely. He has it. Ako nayo. nayo. I want to hear people hawking tomorrow. Mm. Convert your 1000 into uh-huh. a business. Oh yes. Convert your 500 into a business. Oh, yes. 
enda mahali kuna traffic ombea traffic watu wa magari wakiomba traffic ifunguke omba traffic ishikane oh yes sell your sweets oh. sell your biscuits sell sell that is the avenue of mm. reaping oh yes nasema hiyo ndio ile avenue imetengenezwa ya reaping aha uh-huh. I wish I was talking to two people. Uh, Don't buy the shoe, convert the 1000 into a business. Don't buy a new phone, convert that money into a business. Oh yes. Nawaambia ile maombi yote tunaomba hapa. Uh-huh. The avenue ya hiyo maombi mm. kukua something physical uh-huh. is sowing. Oh yes. It is you sowing something. Na Biblia inasema he has given seed to the sower. Hakuna mtu ako willing to sow anaweza sema amekosa seed. Sure. Biblia inasema mtu yeyote mwenye ako willing to sow Mungu amempatia seed. Amazing. That is the Bible. Hakuna mm. mtu anaweza sema sina kitu cha kuanza. Mm. It is a lie. Nobody can say I don't have something to begin with. Oh. Check well it is there. It is somewhere. It is. Because he has given seed to the sower. Very true. If you don't like the harvest that you are seeing, change the seed that you are planting. If you don't like the harvest, don't pray. Uh-uh. Change the seed first. Aha. Nasema kama hufurahi ile kitu ambayo unavuna, mm-hmm. usiombe kwanza. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Badilisha kenye unapanda. Amazing. Mm. No, I'm just reducing prayer points. Uh. So that we pray for what is important. Oh yes. Yeah. Financial breakthrough to where? Uh-huh. With your with your schedule. <laughs> With the time you wake up. With the time you sleep. With what you do during the day. How? How will finances break through? Mm. Break where? <laughs> Mimi my only prayer nataka kusikia watu wanafungua biashara this week. Amen. With what you have. Amen. With what you have. Amen. With what you have. With what you have. A seed is not meant to be big. big. It is what you have. If you plant it in the right ground mm-hmm. with the blessing of God. Oh, yes. Somebody here will come here. E testimony haitapeanwa kwa Pastor Andrew asome. E testimony tutaita huyo mtu akuje ajiseme. Because Amen. Somebody here will invest something small. Amen. By this instruction. Amen. And you shall receive a hundredfold. Amen. In the same year, Amen. in the same land. Amen. I said in the same year, in the same land. Amen. So kama kuna area ya maisha yako and you how like what you are seeing. Ask God, God, what wrong seed am I planting? Uh-huh. Nionesha ni nini hiyo mbaya napanda? Uh-huh. Because your harvest is a result of your input. Amen. I'm telling you. Sure. Whatever you are Reaping is because of what you are sowing. Very true. Ambia Mungu, ni nini hiyo nafanya na sijui? Yeah. Ni nini hiyo sifanyi nafaa kufanya? Yeah. Because some harvest is the result of the wrong seed. Some harvest is the result of not planting the right seed. You understand what I'm saying? Oh yes. Kuna kitu Mungu aliniambia. Can I tell you what God told me? Yes, pastor. Somebody sowed something somewhere. Hey. Somebody sold something somewhere. S S S S. Oh yes. Somebody sold something somewhere. Then tukakuwa na yeye mahali tukiongea. Alafu Mungu akanipatia word. Akaniambia muambie when I tell people to sow like come Charles come Ishmael. Let me show you something. Mungu akaniambia hivi akaniambia muambie let's say Ishmael Afil anunulie Charles kiatu pea tatu. Jealous people jealous people <laughs> Mungu akiambia Ishmael now this is so powerful I was surprised Mungu akiambia Ishmael anunulie Charles viatu pea tatu aso kwake God is not thinking about Charles God is not thinking about Charles. When you sow, the eye is on the harvest. What is the point of a seed if there is no harvest? So Mungu aki don't miss this. Akiambia Ishmael anunulie Charles 
three pairs of shoes is because of the type of ground that Charles is. Charles is not a factor in this thing. He is the right ground. God is th all along. And sometimes when God tells you to give, you think he's thinking about him. You think he's thinking about the church. I come back, give to the church. Unafikiria mungu, unafikiria about the church. No, God is not thinking about the church. If it is a seed, the thought of the farmer is on the harvest. So mungu all along, anafikiria about Ishmael. Na ametafuta a ground. That is why mungu wajamambia a plant to win. Because winning is a different kind of ground. There is a specific ground for what God wants to do to you. So anamambia, plant this one specifically to Charles. Now listen to me. When he does that, so tulikuwa tumeketi, nikamwambia hivyo. Nikamwambia, Mungu anasema, whatever you did to that person, his focus was not on the person. Sure. God is thinking mm -hmm. about you. Oh yes. Now listen to this. Vile nilimwambia hivyo, akanisikiza, akanisikiza, akanisikiza. And then akaniambia, "Pastor, let me show you something." So akatoa simu yake. Alikuwa ametumiwa message na someone from Tanzania. Don't miss this. Alikuwa ametumiwa message na mtu wako Tanzania. Na huyo mtu akamwambia, "I want to encourage you." So anamtumia as an encouragement. Akamwambia, "When you sow a seed, God is thinking about you." Ah. The same thing. And he was so surprised because he could as a confirmation. Listen to me. When I preach here na nasema Usibai kiatu. Put it in business. Nikikuja hapa nasema, for some of you, don't buy the phone. Maybe that money you are supposed to give your parents. Nikikuja nikuambia, don't buy the shoe. Maybe that money you are supposed to give in church. God is not thinking about the people out there. God is sending you to a particular ground. And there is a particular kind of harvest that he wants you to give. And if you take what I'm saying today seriously, oh, yeah. whatever harvest God has in mind for you, Amen. it shall not be delayed in the name of Jesus. Amen. It shall not be delayed in the name of Jesus. Amen. It shall not be delayed in the name of Jesus. Amen. There is what giving to orphans does that giving to a pastor cannot do for you. Oh, yes. There is what giving to a widow does mm -hmm. that giving to your parents cannot do. Oh, yes. There is what giving to your pastor does that giving to a widow does not do. Sure. Don't give to the widow what is to the parent. Mm. Don't give to the parent what is to the pastor. Oh, yes. Don't give to the pastor what is to the... Do you understand what I'm saying? Oh, yes. God anakutuma to particular grounds because of the blessing and the harvest that he wants to provoke. Oh, yes. And this year, if there is an instruction, Amazing. if there is an instruction that I feel so strongly for all of us as young people, is we should take the mind and the attitude of sowing. Oh. Denying yourself. Mm -hmm. Denying yourself. Mm -hmm. Sowing. Sowing. Ukifanya biashara upate profit. Don't eat. Mm. Take it back to the business. Oh, yes. Develop a consciousness of giving back. Sowing. Denying yourself. Mm -hmm. This instruction is not for the business. Come on. It is to your advantage. Oh, yes. It is not for your parents. It is for you. Oh. When God anakuambia sow, sow at that time. Amen. So seed is on a particular ground. Na seed is on a particular time. That is why it was seed time. Oh. Genesis 8.22. Seed time. Kuna vitu kipanda January on a normal climate condition. Zitafanya better than May. Sure. Kuna vitu za May, kuna vitu za September. Mm -hmm. There are things that do well in particular seasons. So is it in the spirit. Mm -hmm. When God tells you, give to this person now. Mm -hmm. Don't do it tomorrow. But I don't have... He's telling you because he knows. Mm -hmm. He gives seed to the sower. Yeah. He knows that you have it. Oh, yes. Some of you, it is to your parents. Mm -hmm. You need mungu alikuambia and you are postponing. Don't cry for what you have not sown. Bible in Asema, it is deception. It is deception oh, yes. to cry for what you have not sown. Mark 4.26 Mark 4.26 Mark 4. 26. Lazima to deny to kiwa young. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. We must deny ourselves when we are young. 
This is the time to sow. Sow. Sowing. The kingdom of God is as if a man, Mark 4.26, should scatter seed on the ground. Next verse. And should sleep by night and rise by day. Amepanda mbegu, amelala na naamka mchana. And the seed should sprout and grow. Na anapata iyo seed ime grow. He himself does not know how. This is very powerful. This is very powerful. Amazing. You sow to the ground God has told you mm-hmm. at the time he has told you. Uh-huh. Don't worry about how the seed Amen. will become a harvest. Come on. Don't worry about how the seed Mm-mm. will become a harvest. Sure. That is why Bible in Asema, don't be wary of doing good for in due time you shall reap. Oh, yes. For in due time you shall reap. Amen. Some of us are always saying like, okay, nimepeana inakama aji. Uh-huh. Okay, nimetoa kwa church. What will come back to me? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm giving this person. What will come back to me? No, the kingdom of God is as a man scatters seed and goes to sleep. Uh-huh. Bible inasema, unless the corn of a wheat falls to the ground and dies. Kama mbegu haita ingia kwa mchanga mm-hmm. na ikufe, Bible inasema, it will remain alone. But if itakufa chini ya mchanga, uh-huh. itakuwa much. Allow your seed mm. to be released from you oh, yes. to die in the ground. Ajua Biblia inamaanisha nini? Ikisema the ground kwa sababu seed unafunika. Uh-huh. You no longer see the seed. Oh, yes. You forget the seed. Mm. You do good to people and you forget about it. Oh, yes. You do good to people and you forget about it. Uh-huh. Don't always think when will it come back to me as a harvest? Mm. No, do good and forget about it. Oh, yes. I say do good and forget about it. Yes. I say do good and forget about it. Yes. So, we sow by doing good. Bible yeah. ikisema, let us not be wary of doing good because we shall reap. In Amanisha, doing good is form of a seed. Ah. Your actions are seeds. Ah. Your words are seeds. Mm-hmm. What you do is a seed. What you are doing today is a seed. Oh, yes. I said what you are doing today is a seed. Oh, yes. I said what you are doing today is a seed. Very true. Una had breakfast chana wa wenyewe it is a seed. It's a seed. And in due season you shall reap a reward. Oh yes. And how many know that you always reap more ah, than you sowed? Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. A hundredfold. Don't worry about easy bitu mzuri nafanya. How will they come back to me? Don't worry about that. You do good. Mm-hmm. Mark chapter 4 verse 14 and the sower sowed the word. So words are seeds. Speak good. Oh yes. Speak well. Words are seeds that you sow. We say me pastor, I'm not experiencing favor. My first question to you after today's service, ndakuwa nakuuliza, have you sown favor? Ah. Because if you are coming to me crying because you did not get something that you did not sow, ah. then the answer is not prayer. Oh yes. Do you wake up in the morning and say, in this day, I will be favored? Mm. If you don't do that, then it is an error. Kwa sababu hauja plant a seed of favor for the day. Uh-huh. It is an error for you to expect favor. Sure. Kama hauja amka asubi, ukasema, leo nitakubalika. Mm. Ukienda ukataliwe, usiblame spirit of rejection. Uh-uh. There was no seed that was planted for that day. Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, pastor. Kama hauja kuu kisaidia watu wakifanya arusi. Wakati wa arusi yako, am I talking to two people? Yes. Tell them. Mm. Bik- uh, uh, okay, leo siku wana preach. Uh-uh. Leo nilikuwa nimekuja tuonge. Uh, tuonge tu. Actually, nuna, like, uh-huh. staki ya takuwa na sweat, like, ni kuonge. But nasema there is an error under the sun. Mm-hmm. Macha ni onge kama Solomon. Mm. Let me talk like Solomon. Oh, yes. There is an error under the sun. Uh-huh. We are expecting what we are not sowing. Uh-huh. I mean, mtoto wako unamuita nyangarika, oh. unamuita punda, unamuita sumbua. Ah. Akifika 20, 16, anakuibia. Usikuja kwa pasta useme ni uchawi. Wewe ndi ulikuwa mchawi. Ah. Wewe ndi ulikuwa mchawi. You sowed that into your child's life. It is an, I'm saying, you see, I don't want to preach. It is an error to expect uh-huh. What you have not sown. The spirit realm is waiting for you to sow something there. Mm. Through prayer, through your words. Mungu aliniambia, anzisha hii prayer ya 3.30 a.m. Not for you. Uh-huh. Because you, you can pray alone in the house. 
I want you to incite people to pray. That was the word. Incite them to pray. Because we need to sow things in the spirit. Kuna ground ya duniani, you put what? Physical seeds. You put money. But there are grounds in the spirit. Mm -hmm. What do you plant there? You plant words. Oh, yes. You plant honor. Mm -hmm. You honoring elders. You honoring people that deserve honor. In a plant things in the spirit for you. Mm. So when you are not honored, I will first ask, do you walk in honor? Yeah. Why are you expecting God to give you something contrary to a law that he himself has established? Mm -hmm. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. Pastor Mbona Mina katika tuna majoka, what have you sown? What have you sown? Because you are reaping something that was sown. Yeah. How, how much, Bible inasema, he that sows sparingly shall reap sparingly. How, how much investment of seeds have you planted for your marriage through prayer? Umepanda mbegu kiasigani ya maombi mm -hmm. concerning your marriage. Come on. I feel like I'm talking to two people. Oh yes. Na reduce prayer points, appointments, yeah. Zina reduce. Eh kabisa. Eh kuna watu leo hawata niona, jua nishawajibu. <laughs> leo leo hawata kuja. Yeah. Because issue yao ni what they have been sowing. Uh -huh. And what they have not been sowing. Oh yes. I'm not preaching, I'm just trying to tell you there's an error. Mm -hmm. So how much favor did you speak to this day? Is Sunday. Yeah. Is Sunday. Amazing. Uliamka uka speak favor. I'm going to expect what was not sown. How much have you spoken into the month? How much have you spoken into the year? How much honor have you sown? How much service have you sown? Bible inasema, he that is faithful with another man's, that is the seed, shall be entrusted with his own. Yeah. At a rip, yake, Kwa sababu alisav ya mtu mwingine. Sure. My fellow young people. Uh -huh. Let me now talk like the president. Oh, yes. <laughs> my, fellow, my fellow young people. Oh, yes. Why are we expecting life to give us what we have not sown? Mm -hmm. it's, it's an error. It's an error. It is an error. It's an error. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Are you really understanding what I'm saying? Oh, yes, pastor. So... Um, can I give you some assignments? Yes, Pastor. So number one, write this down. Plan your week. Mulukam Nangoja something very deep. That is very deep. Oh yes. Plan your week. Number two, plan your day. Ah. Uh -huh. Every second that passes is a sowing opportunity. Uh -huh. Every moment uh -huh. is a sowing moment. Sure. Whether you are working or you are talking, it is something you are sowing. Yeah. If you gossip people and slander people, you will reap slandering. Kila time umeka chini na discuss mtu, onongea negative about mtu. You are sowing. Why do you need to plan your day? Because you are wasting sowing opportunities. Sure. So nataka leo, wendo ujite mkutano we mwenye, useme, nitakuwa na lala around the time na naamka the time. The first thing. Oh, yes. Ukiamka, I'm just asking for three things. Sema vitu tu tatu, utaku unafanya. Just three. Let us begin there. Just three things. That every day, I will be doing, I will be doing one, two, three. That's it. One, two, three. Three. I advise you, let one of the three be speaking into your day. Oh, yes. Don't allow wicked men to sow seeds for you. Mchawi ya naamka three. Wau naamka eight. Amjawi waona huku kwa hizi estates. Umoja, huku wote. Nime waona, wana tembeanga. Usiku, kitembea usiku tawaona. Wana jifanya wako mad. Na wana speak. Hizi ndowa ziyaribike. Uyo mishichana afkuzo. Na wau kwa huku umelala. They are sowing. Yeah, that is what they do. And they are sowing. And then when you wake up, you reap. What they have sown for you. The Bible says, while men slept, the enemy came and planted tears. There is planting that happens when you are sleeping. So when you wake up, you speak into your day. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Yes. Sema hii siku nita kubalika. 
Hii siku nitapata kibali, kibali ni fever. Hii siku sitakwama na kata confusion, nitajua kile nafaa kufanya. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Empowered by the Holy Ghost, no witch can go against your words. Amen. Empowered by the Holy Ghost, yes. no wizard can go against your words. Amen. Oh yes. Oh yes. You speak. If you can have two more things that you do in the morning. Just two. Let us begin there. Nafanyaga hii na hii na hii. After one week utaniambia pastor my week imeanza kukua more productive. Mm-hmm. My week is becoming productive because we waste a lot of time. Yeah. Kuna mtu najua nilimuuliza mbona afanyi kazi. Akaniambia juu yeye anaomba sana usiku. I suspect it is your neighbor. Honestly, I suspect. I suspect it is your neighbor. Yesu alisema, I must work while it is still day. For night cometh when no man can work. Listen to me. Night time is prayer time. Day time is work time. Work. Work. So, work. Grind. Hook. Call clients. Push. Push. That's what I'm saying. Oh yes. Am I talking to two people? Yes. Yeah. I there are so many Christians that are now blaming God. Their prayers zimeingia blaming face. Lamentations. Oh. <laughs> now you are always lamenting. <laughs> Because you expected God to give you something. Uh-huh. And that you have not sown. Mm. Unaona every time mtu anakukosea. Mtu anakukosea. Uh-huh. Hii January February. Uh-huh. Na unamwambia it's okay. It's I okay. forgive you. You have sown something. Oh. Yeah. Matthew chapter 5 verse 7. Matthew 5 7. Nimesema I'm not preaching. Uh-huh. I'm provoking action. Oh yes. Si uh-huh. ni Matthew 5 7. Blessed as they are the merciful for they shall obtain mercy. Nimekusamea lakini sisahau. Hausongee hey. hivyo. Just be gracious. Be merciful. I forgive you. I'm telling you by December, wewe utakuwa umekosea mtu. And you shall reap mercy. Utakuwa umekosea Mungu, you shall reap mercy. Amen. Yeah. Every time unaona mtu anavuka barabara, na unaona kuna mizigo na mwambie acha nikusaidie, you don't know ni mzigo gani ya maisha. Aha. Uh-huh. Utasaidiwa kubeba. Oh yes. Yeah. Aujui because a seed a seed is very small. Uh-huh. Yaani hata uwezi compare na the harvest. Sure. Umesaidia mtu physically. Mm-hmm. You don't know what helpers will be sent into your life. Sure. Juzi nilikuwa nimekaa kwa basi mahali. Nimekaa tu nyuma hivi. Pembeni pale. Unaelewa pembeni? Pale pembeni. Mwaelewa pale pembeni pale. So ikaja watu wamesimamishwa huko katikati cha cha cha. Unajua mimi as usual if it is an older person I stand. Sit. So this day kuna watu hapa wana struggle na hiyo sana. <laughs> so this day this day mali nilikuwa there was an older person pale na muona. Uh-huh. But sasa kuna watu wengi hapa like hizi come. So ina nashangaa sana what do I do? Then al, a, 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 someone alikuwa huko mbele ana, anashuka. Are we together? Anashuka. So nikajua at least amepata. Then nikaona a certain kagal kadogo like Laura Kam just this size kanaangalia huyo mzee na kanaangalia kiti kanaangalia mzee kanaangalia kiti penye huyo aliamka tu hivi chop kakaka listen to me if you want seats in high places be willing to give the seats that you have now nasema hivyo ndio msiseme Mungu Msiseme Mungu ako na favoritism. Uh-uh. Ile siku utaona mimi nimekalia kiti kubwa. Mm-hmm. Ukumbuke kenye nawaambia sahi. Oh yes. It is in see, my, my oh, seeds are small. Uh, sure. Seeds are small. Uh-huh. It is these small things. That's my point. Usi, usi, life yako haitachangiwa na wewe kufanya kitu kubwa. Seeds are small. Uh-huh. And they bring a, a great harvest. Small things. small things i said small things small things how can a young person 
be seated when an elderly person is standing. Kwani wewe hautaki kukalia viti kubwa. Hauoni like hii kama hii ni mbegu. What is the harvest of this seed? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Tell your neighbor so. So. Tell your neighbor so. So. You shall see what you sow. Oh yeah. You shall see what you sow. What you, sow. you shall see what you sow. Yeah. It is wewe kuamkia mtu kiti enyeneza kufungulia mlango ya kazi. Amen. Yeah. A seed does not look like the fruit. Sure. It is wewe kusaidia mama mzee kwa njia yenye itafanya mtu akupigie from majuu aseme nimekufungulia visa yako kuja. Yeah. Amen. A seed does not look and I'm saying this here we are so complacent to release uh. a seed money my strength. We are so slow mm. to sow and so quick to tell God why God. Remember me God. It is in you. Unaangalia your friend like mercy come unamwambia mercy honestly that gentleman is very handsome ah but i've noticed it is not me he likes it is you it is you if i'm, I'm serious if you can be so uh-huh. selfless uh-huh. because i'm talking to three people here and two Amazing. people here Amazing. if you can be that selfless uh-huh. Listen I'm saying you are so slow uh-huh. to give praise. Mm-hmm. We are so slow to give like mm. kwambia mtu eh unakaa poa. Mm. We are so slow. That is why your life iko dry. Oh. Wewe umeona ule ana like huyo. Aha. Kwa nini humwambi? Eh kwa nini? Surely. Surely. Tell them. I, I'm saying we are born we are born selfish ah. it's not easy for human beings to give sure like you are the one that is preferred tunashindwa kukubali hiyo i'm saying this year i'm giving you a secret if you can train yourself uh-huh. to release oh yes praise aha uh-huh. okay mimi nakapua but honestly your dress mm. is too nice if you can be willing to release oh yes god is not mocked oh. whatsoever a man sows that shall he reap. Oh yes. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. So these are mysterious things that cause people to excel and others to stagnate. Mm. The willingness to release. Sure. To give seed. Uh-huh. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Am I talking to two people? Yes. To kit up am to a preach. Oh yes. Me I only I only shout when it's Pastor Sam and Pastor Brenda. Yeah, I only clap when it is nani. No, mm-hmm. listen. If you want to be celebrated in life. Ah. Oh. In life. In life. Mm. If you want in this life to ku celebrate in life. Uh-huh. So a small seed of clapping when someone is standing here. Oh yes. It is these small things that we release mm. that translate into big things. Oh yes. And we I don't know why we miss that so much. We miss that. Elijah had how many sons? Many. Many sons of the prophet. But there is one son. One. There is one son. One son. That decided to leave his comfort, leave his family, uh-huh. stay a very lonely life uh-huh. with a very hard man. Uh-huh. Elijah was not easy. Yes. But Elisha was willing to give up some things and follow Elijah. We were learning this on Wednesday. Yeah. And in 2 Kings chapter 2, wako Gilgal. Elijah anamwambia, "Where's you back?" Elisha anasema, "No. I'm coming." There there's someone hapa mimi nikimwambia, "Baki." Oh, offense. Pastor Anitaki, spirit of rejection. What are you talking about? Elisha Akasema I'm not remaining behind. Then 50 sons came to him. Told him dada naenda. Wewe baki. Akasema quiet. They went to Bethel. Elijah told him again, baki nyuma. Elisha said, si baki nyuma. The sons came. Wakamwambia si ubaki. Akawaambia quiet. 
they went to Jericho, Jordan. To Jordan. Elijah anamwambia tena. Baki. The sons wanamwambia tena. Baki. Elijah anasema, I miss it, Baki. I'm following you. Hard follower. Uh-huh. Most young people don't want to be treated like this. Uh-huh. They want a soft pastor. Oh. A soft parent. Mm. Somebody that you should inherit blessings from. You want them soft. You want them comfortable. Uh. You want them to suit your needs. Uh. To suit your style. Uh. Your parent is the one carrying your blessing and you want them to be the way you want them to be. Uh-uh. Not Elisha. When you are back, you are back. Call me whatever you want to call me. I'm here. Mm-hmm. Insisting. Do you know how much that sewing? Do you know how much that sewing is in a gun? Then, wakafika pale mali. Jordan anafaa kuenda. Mali, Elijah anafaa kuenda. Waka split the river. Elijah akamwambia, wewe, mina enda. Verse 9. Unataka ni kupatia nini? Elijah akamwambia, I want a double portion of your spirit. A double portion of your spirit. Elijah akamwambia, you have asked for a hard thing. And this is what God told me. God told me, hard followers are entitled for hard things. Oh yes. Things that other people cannot ask for. If you have sown hard mm. into the life of your parent, if you have sown hard into the life of a particular person, you are entitled to receive their hard things. Oh. As young people, mimi included, hii age yetu ni poa sana. Because we have time to sow. You have an opportunity to sow. Oh yes. Don't wait till your parents are gone. Don't wait till your foster parents are gone. Mm. Don't wait till your mentors are gone. When they are still around. So, she does not look like the way you wish she was. She does not talk to you the way you, you wish she talked to you. That was the case of Elisha. But I what I'm doing. This is a good ground to sow. It is a good ground. Your parents are a good ground for you to sow. Oh, yes. yeah. Elders are a good ground for you to sow. The house of God is a good ground for you to sow. But since it is comfortable, we like comfortable. God is not mocked. Sure. I said God is not mocked. God is not mocked. I said God is not mocked. God is not mocked. There is a blessing that your parent can give you that I cannot give you. Sure. But she is not born again. He doesn't know Hebrew and Greek. Tell him about shut, 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 shut. There's a blessing. There's a blessing. Don't wait until they are gone. So now. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. So. Don't wait till. Listen. Okay. I don't know if I should tell you. Okay. I don't know. I mean, the way you are responding is like you don't want me to tell you. The last pastor. There is something that Mungu aliniambia about seeds. Can I tell you? Oh yes. This is the last thing I will tell you. Mhm. Aliniambia one of the advantages of giving a seed in its time is because of its value to the person you are giving. Oh. Listen. If Winnie come, you can call her Mrs. Mwata. Mrs. Mwata. Powerful. Powerful. If Winnie is sleeping hungry, Mm-hmm. and it is not happening it's not happening it can never be so na hiyo siku una feel tu why i just feel like giving winnie a thousand uh-huh. and you don't know why mm. and you ignore and then tomorrow she gets a job and now she is eating well and then you say god spoke to me now let me take the a thousand you see what that seed was supposed to do it is not needed now sure I I it a jiki sai mm-hmm. as a young person. Uh-huh. I said as a young person. As a young person. I said as a young person. As a young person. Kukua youth ni kuso. Usisketi kama elder anasimama. Kuna viti hautawahi kalia in life ukiwa na hiyo attitude. Ouch. Oh siange si basi kama mbona amepanda gari na imejaa siange ka nje ngoje yenye no. Shh. Amepanda ile gari imejaa kwa sababu yako. Aha. Ni ni ground umeletewa. Aha. 
Ah. Ni ground. Mm-hmm. Mungu amekuona akasema my son hana pesa uh-huh. but akona kiti. Mm. So let me bring a ground in that bus. Mm. Hopefully my son ataona the ground na aso. Oh, yes. I was talking to two people. Oh, yes. Time ya koloni kwani mbona wazazi wangu hawakuchukua shamba tena wana shat 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 Nimeona hizo memes Walikuwa wapi time ya Kenyatta ndio na shat What your parents don't have uh-huh. is an opportunity for you oh, yes. to so what your parents don't have is an opportunity for you to sow. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Can you imagine ukiwa na mbegu? Alafu ukienda kwa shamba imeshajaa mimea. Where will you plant? No. It is the emptiness of the land that gives you an opportunity to sow. Mhm. Ukiekwa karibu na mtu hana kitu, hana shati, hana food, that emptiness of a ground is an opportunity for you to sow. Oh yes. Sisi wote hapa ni grounds. Mm-hmm. And my emptiness is your opportunity to sow. Oh yes. Your emptiness where you are empty as a ground is my opportunity to sow. Leo asubuhi nilikuwa naambia watu hapa. I don't know if I can remember well. When was I saying this? Something the line of kupelekana out to show love to people is it true yeah i mean you know your friend hana watch uko na three watches four watches mhm hana kia tupoa you have ten nice shoes her emptiness is your opportunity to sow oh yes her lack is your opportunity to sow yeah. god has caused you to see her lack mm. Hoping you will plant something. Mm. The seed, I repeat, is always small. Mm-hmm. One shoe is not too small. One shirt is not too small. It mm. is seed enough. It is a seed enough. Mm-hmm. Kupatia mtu unga moja, it is a seed enough. Uh-huh. Kuongelesha mtu vizuri, it is a seed enough. Mm. Kusamehea mtu, it is a seed enough. Mm-hmm. And because of the blessing upon Isaac ata usoma hali dry you shall reap this year in the name of Jesus Amen Ata ukisoma hali dry because of the blessing that was upon Isaac this year you shall reap something Amen Kama umeandikwa kazi learn to go there early Mhm Fika mapema sow it sow it get there early finish your assignments on time so so you shall reap a great harvest amen lift up your hands wherever you are tell god 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 this year help me help me to sow to sow every opportunity you give me to sow begin to pray that prayer wherever you are the emptiness of the land the dryness of the land the lack in your friend's life the lack in your parents the lack that you are seeing in the church is an opportunity for you to sow my god the seed is always small the seed is always small one liter of milk one loaf of bread one shoe 100 shillings sending air time to your parents it does not matter how small it is when it comes back Luke 6:38 says it shall come a good measure pressed down shaken together and running over today we are getting delivered from selfishness self-centeredness pray that prayer oh lord deliver me from selfishness deliver me from self-centeredness deliver me from the lack of interest in the affairs of people my eyes have been blind to the affairs of the people around me. My eyes have been blind to the affairs of the people around me. Oh Lord, I ask you today, 
help my eyes to see where I should sow. Help my eyes to see where I should sow. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Help my eyes to see where I should sow. Lava kata shitaba. Rebe kita bagadaba. Zevre kita bagadia. Rambre kete kita baladia. Zevre kepe rakata. Rimo koto shikada. Lika deke dizo vrakata. Mantele breke tika pagada. Zevre kipa rakata radia zeba. Mantele vreke tika barazita ba. Rima koto shita la bagada. Lembre ketika prokoto shikata. In the name of Jesus. I hope my message is home. I hope the message is home. The needs of your friends are a ground for you to sow. The seed is always small. So hakuna kituneza peana ikue too small to be called a seed. Receive the grace to give to your parents, to your friends, to your neighbors, to the church, to your mentors, to your leaders. Receive the grace to sow. Receive the grace to sow. In the name of Jesus. Wherever you appreciate Jesus, stand up on your feet. I want us to pray two prayers. Zachariah 8, 12. Let us read together. One, two, three, read. For the seed shall be prosperous. Zachariah 8, 12. The seed shall be prosperous. I want us to pray that whatever you sow this year, it shall, be, it shall bring prosperity to you. Every act of kindness, every giving, may be prosperous. Zechariah 8.12 For the seed shall be prosperous. Lift up your right hand. Repeat after me. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I pray. As I pray. My seed. My seed. In 2024. In 2024. Be prosperous. Be prosperous. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. In the name of Jesus. Name of Begin Jesus. to pray that prayer wherever you are. My seed be fruitful. My seed be fruitful. My seed be prosperous. I speak prosperity to my seed. I speak prosperity to your 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 seed. Wherever you sow, you shall reap. Wherever you sow, you shall reap. Ukipanda mbegu utabuna. Wherever you sow, you shall reap. Wherever you sow, you shall reap. In the name of Jesus, lift up your hands. Father, I pray for your children. Wherever they shall sow this year, through words, through actions, through giving money, clothes, food, let the blessing that was upon Isaac come upon them. That one seed shall bring a hundredfold. Oh Lord, may they remember this message. May they remember this message. We honor you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Appreciate Jesus. Our next prayer. Matthew 15, 13. Matthew 15, 13. It is a very important prayer. Every plant which my heavenly Father has not planted will be uprooted. There are things that you are harvesting that you did not sow. It's because an enemy came and planted them. But 
as we pray the next prayer i said as we pray the next prayer yes. every evil seed yes. every evil plant yes. every evil seed yes. in your life yes. in your family yes. in your finances yes. in your prayer life yes. in your children yes. in your husband oh, yeah. in your wife yes. it will catch fire it will catch fire lift up your right hand repeat after me say oh lord oh lord as i pray as i pray let every evil seed let every evil seed every evil plant every evil plant in my life in my life catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire begin to pray that prayer begin to pray that prayer catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire Every evil seed catch fire in the name of Jesus catch fire in the name of Jesus whatever the devil has planted in your child i break it whatever the devil has planted in your husband i break it whatever the devil has planted in your wife i break it whatever the devil has planted in your house in your business i break it i break it i uproot every evil plantation i uproot every evil plantation in your mind in your heart in your emotions in your thoughts fire Seeds 